Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you another insane game. This game was played between American chess master Sidney Bernstein and E.B. Hill. The game was played in 1940 in New York. Now without further ado, let's go for the game and see what happened on the board. Bernstein opened up with e4 and g6 by Hill. Black goes for modern defense, d4, bishop g7 and h4. White wants to organize a quick attack. White's idea is simple to open up the h-file by exchanging this h-pawn on g6 and start targeting Black's king side. In here the most popular moves are d5 and h5, but in our game we have knight f6, after which white is managing to gain advantage by playing e5 which was played in the game. Knight d5, h5, black castles king's side and a very illogical move h6. The whole idea of h4, h5 is to open up the h file, but in our game we have h6, bishop h8 and f4, e6. This time we have c4. Yes, white pawns are simply harassing black knight. Knight e7, knight c3, b6, this time b4, bishop b7 and a4. This is hilarious, guys. What are you doing, Mr. Bernstein? We have a6, rook b1, knight f5. After all those pawn moves, it would have been logical to go for g4 as well, but right now the g-pawn is pinned. We have rook h3 and after rook a7, which looks very ugly, we have g4. Yes, guys, this is a real game played by Sidney Bernstein. White is also kicking away black knight from its outpost. On f5 we have knight e7 and only then is developing his kingside knight. But as white pushed forward all his pawns, now white has to be careful because if black can open up the position, then white can find himself overexposed. In here it was better to start challenging white center with f6, but in our game we have d5, c5, a5, knight a2, a takes b4, knight takes b4, knight c6, and this time we have f5. White is attacking from all possible directions. We have knight takes b4, rook takes b4, bishop a6 and f6. Another strange move. Yes, although this is burying the bishop on h8, but this is closing the king's side and after this move, virtually there is no way to proceed with the attack. We have bishop takes f1, king takes f1, knight a6, rook b5, b takes c5, bishop a3, rook a8, knight h4, rook b8, rook b3, and c6. Here white played rook b7, but it was better to exchange the rooks and then capture on c5. If rook g8, then play bishop d6 and then penetrate the 7th rank with the rook, if queen c8, then queen b3, and white has a total control over the board. Black is nearly in Tsuktsavank and white can easily finish up black. This pawn can create too many problems for black. At any moment white can bring his knight on the queen side, and yes, black's position is totally lost, but in our game after c6 we have rook b7. We see the exchange of rooks on b7 and queen a5. Queen c2. It turns out that white has a very cunning idea which black is overlooking. Knight b4. Right now you can see that the queen on c2 is hanging, but now Sidney Bernstein brings into life his idea and he captured on g6. Look at this beautiful queen sacrifice. The queen is untouchable because white can announce a checkmate. A very impressive, stealthy like checkmate. Look at this. Let's go back, after knight takes g6, black recaptured with the h-pawn which allows white to mate in 2. Instead of h takes g6, it was better to capture on f6 with the bishop and free the h8 square for the king. Here you can't win the bishop because you will lose your queen. There is no checkmate, as I've already mentioned, the h8 square is freed and after bishop takes f6, actually the best move is queen takes c5 after which black can announce a check from a6 and after king g1 f takes g6 queen a7 queen e2 all white can do is to give a perpetual check after which 
the game will end up in a draw. But in our game after knight takes g6 we have h takes g6. And now you can pause the video and try to find white's next moves. Actually in here Sidney Bernstein made a move and black resigned. Ready? Well I'm sure that you have already found his next move and the winning move is queen takes g6. Look at this brutal queen sacrifice. Now if f takes g6 then white can announce a study like check made by playing h7 and yes hurry the h pawn can checkmate black king look at this beauty that's why after queen takes g6 black resigned a very impressive final queen sacrifice which leads to a more impressive checkmate which i hope that you enjoyed greatly thanks for watching for more games consider subscribing to my channel also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Good luck.